So I want to start off with a question with you. Have you ever had a leader in your life or someone in your life that has done just that, has inspired belief into you? It's a great question because I go back growing up, sports were everything to me, my cousins, and it was baseball, basketball, football were the primary drivers. And I can remember my middle school years, I was playing all of those. And all of a sudden this guy showed up who ended up being the cross country coach for our local high school. And his name was Thane Jones. And I'll never forget, I saw Thane the first time and he had brought up something about running cross country. And my immediate response was, absolutely not. <laughs> like, there is no way I'm wearing those short shorts. There is no way I'm going to run for fun. Um, and there was no way I was going to do it. And he just said, just come out once. Just come out to one of our summer trainings. And I went to that one event and my life was changed ever since because I got to that event and noticed something right away that there was different about him, that he had the ability to transfer belief because instantly I learned quickly he was one of the most competitive people, that there was a fire inside of him that was different. And I think when you talk about leaders that transfer belief, the people that they're leading, they don't just want what they're saying. They want to be more like them. And so when I was that eighth grade going to be a freshman, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know much about cross country other than I wanted that fire that he had. And so long behold, he transferred that belief enough to where I was in those short shorts that <laughs> next fall out there training with the team, running miles on end and absolutely fell in love with it because of uh, his impact on me and that ability to transfer belief. And so when I think about it, that's where my mind goes uh, to someone that transfer belief. That's awesome. I appreciate you sharing that. And then when you think back, okay, that was back in high school, wearing short shorts. <laughs> what does that mean now to you as you know, a businessman, a, a high performer, as a father, as a husband? When you think about your life and you look back to your coach, what did that do for you now? It's a great question. I think on those journeys that you just shared, starting and running a business, um, ha have been the leader of a family, co-leader of a family, is you're going to get moments where belief feels like it runs out mm -hmm. in different ca capacities. And what that showed me is that I can do hard things because hard things are coming. They're inevitable. But there's that unwavering conviction inside that when they show up, because again, they will, I can do hard things. And so when that belief runs out maybe for a temporary time, it's the belief that I can do the things to stack up the evidence to show me where to get that belief back and drive better results. So that's what I go back to. And I go back to those moments all the time of because I did that, because I did those one mile repeats that pushed me physically to my limits, I can surely go up and stand in front of an audience and deliver a speech or do a training session.